नमस्ते एंड वेलकम व्यूअर्स टू मिरर प्राइम मैं आशीष फॉर एक वंस अगेन गुरमीत राम रहीम सिंह द कंट्रोवर्शियल डेरा सच्चा सौदा चीफ विल वॉक आउट ऑफ जेल फॉर द 15th टाइम इन जस्ट 4 इयर्स राम रहीम हु इज सर्विंग अ 20 इयर्स सेंटेंस फॉर रेप इज बीइंग टेंपरेरीली रिलीज्ड अंडर द प्रेटेक्स्ट ऑफ अटेंडिंग हिज फादर्स डेथ एनिवर्सरी एंड आल्सो ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सम चैरिटी इवेंट्स एवरी टाइम एन इलेक्शन अप्रोच स्टार्स कन्वीनिएंटली अलाइन फॉर राम रहीम टू वॉक आउट ऑफ जेल हिज पैरोल्स his furloughs all coincidentally align with the political calendar beat punjab beat haryana beat some municipal election every time there's an election ram rahim seems to walk out of jail this time as the state gears up for the 2024 assembly elections the pattern repeats yet again and as expected there are political ramifications as well the congress is now crying foul accusing the bjp of playing dirty politics by freeing a man with massive electoral influence in haryana Let's not forget Ram Rahim commands lakhs of followers especially in districts such as Sirsa, Ambala and Hisar. That's over 30 assembly seats potentially swayed by his presence or even his silence. The election commission has approved his parole but with restrictions. No public gatherings, no speeches, no social media. But the big question remains, why now? Why at such a politically sensitive time is a rape convict being released? And the bigger question is that is this parole for charity emergency purpose or is it for politics ram rahim's influence has a proven track record in elections so is this yet another example of religion and politics colliding for convenience we'll be discussing this and a lot more joining us on the broadcast in a short while from now will be renu bhatia chairperson of the haryana state commission for women but meanwhile also joining us right now dr nikul patel who is a political analyst and arvind kumar jain former dgp dr nikul patel i'll start with you now because uh, ram rahim at this point has spent over 250 days outside of jail sometimes i get confused if he is serving a punishment or if he goes to jail when he's bored it's almost ridiculous at this point definitely if you see the history of ram rahim the way he was convicted for the rape case and uh, the punishment the capital punishment he is being given he is coming out of the jail into parole whenever the elections are being held actually uh, i feel that the present government at uh, uh, the place as well as the public prosecutor who may be arguing to uh, the court for the parole may not be convict convict convicting the judge so he might be getting the bail but over here i will say that he is coming out of the jail will definitely influence the way the popularity and the following he is having in that area coming out of the jail is again a question mark because uh, he is a person who can influence so many people over here definitely the question is what you are saying that whether the pay bail what is given is intentional or there is something fishy behind what is happening in that particular case okay i'll uh, take this point across to arvind kumar jain there's a lot of uh, you know uh, questions being raised about uh, what's happening as far as ram rahim is concerned 15 times he's been let out in the past 4 years uh, dr arvind uh, mr arvind kumar jain you of course been the former dgp of up as well you've seen all these cases up close help us understand what exactly is the logic here because this man he's not been he's not been arrested or he's not been convicted for some robbery or something like that he's been convicted in a rape case it's that serious but now he's being released for some event which is said to be a charity event his father's death anniversary help us understand what's the legal framework exactly which governs parole and furlough in india oh parole is absolutely legal because uh, speaking order is passed for parole and uh, it is strictly legal and uh, within the purview of the of the powers of the person no, it is legal i get it, it. mr but, arvind but, kumar jain but, but 15 but, but, times but, in 4 years yes, i mean yes, yes, what yes, explains this complete just let me complete but you can call it unethical because the way he is getting it the he is getting the parole it is i call it unethical and uh, in my opinion all political parties in india they resort to such tactics to win the elections and even bjp is doing it congress has been doing it when congress was in power so you can't blame one political party it is being done by everybody mukhtar ansari was being kept in a jail of uh, punjab without any warrant and uh, 
they were not sending him back to UP because they wanted to keep him there only. Uh, on the orders of Supreme Court, he was brought here. So all political parties, whatever suits them, they do it. And BJP is also also playing the same cards, in, in my opinion. Okay. Renu Bhatia, who is the chairperson of the Haryana State Commission for Women, joins us right now. Uh, Renu Bhatia ji, uh, appreciate you joining us for this discussion. And uh, the serious question here that everyone's asking is, what exactly is this man doing that he's getting parole and furloughs when he wants? He walks out of jail when there's an election. He walks in when he wants to. What's the kind of message that we're giving out to those rape victims who'd be looking at this and questioning, really, if there's any justice in this country? Actually, what I feel is that it is not that he has been given parole by the BJP people or uh, BJP has, uh, you know, given the consent that he should be given parole. This is court who gives payroll. This is court who gives zamanat. This is court who says uh, ki, uh, who, who can be uh, taken out of the jail when and where. So it is not that uh, the Congress Congress cannot say both. I I am talking about both the parties that none of the parties can talk about that he has been uh, been given uh, payroll because of the elections, which I don't I don't think is correct. Renuji, I asked you this question expecting you to defend those victims of rape, those that have yeah. faced atrocities at the hands of Ram Rahim. But I'm surprised here that instead of defending those rape victims, you're actually trying to defend the BJP. It's, it's a little surprising for no, me. No, no. Because, because the debate or because the talks which are going on, ki election ki wajah se ye kia. I don't believe in that. Election ki wajah se BJP ne kia. I don't, uh, uh, I mean, I'm not talking about that because I'm not a person who has okay. to talk about Renuji, BJP I, right I, now. I, I got One your point. Minute. Let, let me complete. Let me complete. I, I got your point here, Renuji, let but I'll tell you why there's a link being the drawn debate, as far complete, as the... All right, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I, 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 I don't want to talk against those women. I have full, full sympathy with those women who have been victim, who have been threatened by him, who have been raped by him or whatever nonsense he has done. I am totally with those women. But if you talk about that some party has done this for election... I am not uh, convinced with that. This is the law who has permitted him. But I am with those women who are, uh, you know, suffering from his uh, bad deeds. Okay. Renuji, the reason why BJP is being dragged into this matter, I'll give you the one of the reasons here. There's a person called Sunil Sangwan. I don't know if you know him. This man was the SP of Sunaria Jail. This man oversaw the release of Ram Rahim six times. And now, very conveniently, he is now being fielded by the BJP in this election. It's tough to not link the BJP with this. Uh, I agree with this point that he is contesting an election uh, through BJP or he is a candidate for BJP places. But as a superintendent of jail, he wasn't BJP person that time when he gave six times uh, you know, payroll to him. He wasn't BJP person that time. Yes, he left the job and now he's in BJP. And now if we say, or we if we point that person, I don't think it is correct. But still, I'm telling you as, as a woman, as commission, I am really hurt what has been done to those women or those who were threatened, those who were raped, those who were, you know, misguided by him, whatever... Uh, uh, sin crime he has done he should be punished for that and he, during the time when he was uh, you know he was told all these things I was the person who said that he should be uh, he has done severe okay. crimes Renuji, and he should uh, be punished I just want to ask was. you quickly here because you say you heard that this is happening as, a, as, as the chairperson of Haryana State Commission for Women, have you written a letter? Have you taken any action? Have you asked the court of law to ensure that this man is not released? Have you done anything from your end? Yet, but yes, you have given me a clue. I will definitely work on this. That these kind of people shouldn't be given Okay, so, so uh, far, payrolls. you have not opposed his release. Okay, I got it. Dr. Nikhil because Patel, is, now, how do you look at this court... entire link that is being drawn right now? See, if you see, because we are talking about done... this person now, Sunil Sangwan, who was the SP, 
he oversaw the release of Ram Rahim and now very conveniently he joins the BJP. Renuji here says that, well, he was not with the BJP when this happened, but he's joined the BJP now. He's even, content he's even got a ticket from the BJP. So it's difficult to not draw a political connection here. See, definitely, if you see, the procedure has been followed as per the law. But as uh, panelists rightly said that it is not ethical when it comes something into the picture where a rapist is allowed for a payroll so many times, and especially during the time of elections. Now, when it comes to a Bharatiya Janata Party, the government over there definitely uh, will try to influence anyone who is into uh, this procedure. And that is why he may be getting the bail. I would like to just condemn the action uh, whatever is taken for, for giving him the bail and as soon as the person of whom you are discussing, definitely he is a contestant and a person like Ram Rami Rahim who is having so many followers into that area, uh, even if he is not into an active campaigning, if he is there outside, he can meet the influential person and can call and uh, do an silent campaigning. That is what the concern is for all the political parties who are there and definitely BJP cannot uh, directly is involved, but indirectly we can say that uh, uh, there is definitely something which is helping him out in getting this bail. But over here, if the law permits him, you cannot deny. But ultimately, uh, if we see fundamentally or ethically, it's not correct of bringing such person out of the jail who can influence the people into an election uh, democratic process. Okay. Uh, I'll quickly get in a word from Arvind Kumar Jain also because uh, you're more aware about the legalities here. Uh, again, we are talking about how this person who's now ensured, I mean, he, he was the person in charge, he was the SP there when uh, this entire incident took place, the fact that he was released six times at the Sunaria jail. Is there, is there a link or is there a power that an SP at a jail has, for example, the Sunaria jail, that he can push forward someone's case that he should be released? I know... I know the final nod comes in from the DC. Uh, that's that's the authority, competent authority that actually has the right to give the final nod. But does the SP also have a role to play in this? No, I don't think so. Commissioner is the sanctioning authority. Commissioner of the division. Uh, as far as I remember in Haryana, as per jail manual of Haryana. So uh, the, the superintendent of the, of, of the jail, Sunaria jail or... Uh, or, uh, or or senior jailer, or uh, I don't know at, uh, what post this person, Sangban, was occupying, but he has no role. He has to just uh, obey the orders of, 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 the, of the relevant court. That's all. He can extend certain facilities inside the jail to the, to the inmate. That can be done. That can, uh, I can believe that. But uh, he can't influence the uh, judgment passed on uh, parole order of uh, Ram Rahim. I don't think he's capable of that. Uh, he might have given no objection. I, I don't know what's the procedure there in Haryana, but he might have given his no objection if, if it has been taken at all. But I don't think it is required also. Uh, in, in UP also, it is not required and independent uh, order is, 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 is passed. By, by the concerning authority. Okay. Uh, Renuji, you just admitted on record the fact that you've not written a letter yet about the fact that Ram Rahim should not be released. This man is a rape convict and he's constantly been released as well. If you can just help us understand what stopped you from doing so. Is, the, is there any political compulsion? Is there any pressure on you that stopped you from writing a letter against this? Because right now you are saying that you are not okay with what's happening. You're not okay with the fact that this man is being released a convict, a rape convict, but you've not written a letter. What stopped you? Uh, uh, I am really, uh, really very sad for these kind of people who do the rapes, who do murders, who do all these kind of things, and then they are out uh, on payrolls. And I agree to the gentleman who just spoke that uh, jail superintendent has no powers to give him payroll unless the court or the senior people or wherever he has applied. And I, um, I I am not very sure, but I think they apply to the court who had given the judgment. Then only they are given payrolls. And if you remember what, what is in my knowledge, we, the Women Commission, at that time also, we were aggressive for him to be put in jail as soon as possible and frame as strict laws as they can be the dharas when 
the case against him you know the case against him case uh, came to the knowledge but really ji where's that aggression now as women this as man has been released 15 times in 4 women, years we, we need that aggression now against... sorry i said you you said you were you were aggressive in your protest against the fact that what this man had done was not right where is that aggression now you need to oppose the fact that this man has been released is, 15 it, times in the last 4 years that, you now tell us that you not even written a letter you're the chairperson of the women's commission of haryana where this entire thing is happening and not even <laughs> one word officially from you opposing this it, it is it is not that we uh, did not say anything against him against him when he was fought for these kind of rapes and these kind of things we protested and he was put behind bars and till now he there are so many you know uh, dharas which are framed against him and he is behind the bars just because of those things that women protested against him but if you talk about payroll it is not women commission who has to give the payroll it is not the jail superintendent sagwan who has to give the payroll now or earlier it is a uh, law who has to give him payroll and they have given the law has to find out why he is given this payroll he shouldn't have been given this um, uh, you know facility at this time and if you talk about election ke time mein diya gaya um, beech beech mein bhi isse mila tha so many times but i can read on your screen that 15 times he has been uh, given payroll 15 times to election nahi tha so if we only focus on this thing that congress has okay. said this i am not comfortable uh, yes i am against that this kind of people who have done rape so many times shouldn't be given uh, facilities in the jail as the earlier gentleman said or they should be given bail at certain times they should okay on record renu butter ji will you now assure us that you're going to write a letter against this will you write a letter saying that a man who's been convicted of rape yes, he should definitely. not be released we are you going to write a letter we will definitely ask the court why these kind of people are given you know why they are lenient for these kind of crimes and people we will definitely ask okay 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 renu ji appreciate Thank you you, so uh, you know giving us your word about it it should have happened earlier it should have happened earlier Thank but you. again uh, better late than never but meanwhile uh, nikul patel ji before we wrap help us understand the congress now says it has written to the election commission saying that ram rahim is being let out for political benefits renu ji here says that there is no political angle to this help us understand who exactly does congress think that ram rahim's release will benefit and how exactly will it happen see if you see uh, the government at uh, the place where he has his own setup and everything is bhartiya janata party and now uh, definitely when he comes out he is going to have uh, some activity not in active mode but definitely in active mode so definitely the opposition or the political parties would find that that something is not going in the way which they feels correct so they would approach definitely the election commission and try to uh, try to defend and say that this kind of bail must not be given to such person who is influential to so many people to have fair and free election definitely this kind of person who is having large following especially he is convicted for the rape case the serious severe crime that anyone is facing in the country so uh, his bail should be definitely think of whenever uh, someone is means bail application is received Uh, so congress had approached to the election commission and their target is basically bhartiya janata party who may be influencing such kind of bail to the people who should not come out during the election time okay uh, arvind kumar ji you just a while back uh, told me that the jail sp uh, pretty much has no role to play i just looked up uh, uh, the what the rule exactly is in haryana and i'm being told that haryana good conduct prisoners temporary release act 2022 empowers the jail sp to recommend parole cases so he has the power to recommend parole for ram rahim and very conveniently now this person goes and joins the bjp even gets a ticket for haryana elections very difficult here not to draw a political angle yeah yes you are correct if this is there in uh, haryana jail manual then uh, inference can be drawn inference can be drawn that uh, he must have recommended he is son of some uh, ex minister of haryana i am told 
and he has joined politics. Correct. Nobody stops him from joining politics, but uh, uh, conduct should be fair. And one thing I would like to make clear, if uh, Ram Rahim is confined inside Barnawa, Barnawa Ashram, Barnawa is in district Bagpat of UP, and uh, it has huge gates and nobody can access that ashram. Police is there outside, he doesn't come out, he doesn't meet people. If he is silently, he, he is influencing, then he can silently influence from, from inside jail also. So I don't think he holds any meetings, he, he doesn't hold any darbars, he doesn't hold any satsangs, because in this period, I am told that he remains confined inside, inside that ashram, and, and nobody, nobody has seen him come out, and nobody has seen anybody going inside that ashram. Uh, he, he he remains there under very tight security. So, okay, the, but if, the big question, Alvin Ji, continues to remain that why exactly should we grant yes, parole 15 yes, times in four years to a person, a rape convict, because he wants to do charity? I mean, it just doesn't make sense at all. And I think we need to continue to ask these questions and continue yes. to look at what the political angles really are. We are running short of time right now. Dr. Nikul Patel, Arvind Kumar Jain, appreciate you joining us on the broadcast. All right, viewers, on that note, it's a wrap on this edition of Mirror Prime. Lots more lined up on the other side. Stay tuned.